Tesla may come up with an electric plane. Elon Musk, Tesla CEO, hints at ambitious plan to create a jet and uh, he wafted it on the future of aviation, hinting at his plans to build an electric jet. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. Mike Brown from Inverse has some details saying Tesla CEO Elon Musk waited in on the future of aviation, hinting at his plans to build an electric jet. He says on Sunday, Elon Musk reiterated his support for the development of an electric jet, electric airplane, hinting that the CEO of Tesla's long-held ambition to produce a zero-emission flying machine. Specifically, the Tesla CEO wrote on Twitter, there should be a new supersonic jet, this time electric. If you remember, the supersonic jet was the French-British um, Concorde. The, actually, this was the post was in the, his, twi his tweet was in response to a tweet from the World of Engineering uh, Twitter account, very interesting tweet, Twitter account I, fo I follow, and which commemorated the anniversary of Concorde's last commercial flight 17 years ago. The joint British French plane was an engineering marvel in its time with a cruising speed of 1350 miles per hour, traveling from New York to London in under three hours and now the uh, Elon Musk is saying that there should be another one and this time electric imagine if it's supersonic and imagine if it's electric imagine what type of electric power it will require and how much batteries it will require but let's see what the uh, inverse article has to say more in details um, the author Mike says the post harkens back to Musk's often hinted at plans to develop an electric jet. His apparent ambitious dates back to at least 2008 and even surfaced in his cameo in 2010 film Iron Man 2, Musk has not formally announced any plans to create a flying machine himself, at least not yet. Tesla's Battery Day event last month, it was a very um, interesting event, it was a very much expected event, last month gave some clarity on a way forward for the project. One of the biggest hurdles outlined by Elon Musk in September 2018 is creating a battery with enough energy density to enable a plane to take off. While the Tesla Model 3 has a battery somewhere around 250 watt hours per kilogram, Elon Musk suggested an electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicle would require around 400 watt hours per kilogram. The ideal figure would be somewhere around 500 watt hours per kilogram. As you can see, if Tesla Model 3 has 250 watt hours per kilogram, I think within several years reaching 400 watt hours per kilogram or 500 watt hours per kilogram is not going to much challenge require much challenge from engineers and scientists I think this is pretty much doable to have a uh, Tesla electric plane or jet or maybe maybe down in 10 years supersonic jet I don't know because we know that electric vehicles have good torques maybe it's possible but it's a lot of work and a lot of thinking required by scientists now the biggest signal mike says in inverse in his inverse article saying the biggest signal that an electric jet is on musk's mind came during the question and answer se session at the tesla battery day if you remember tesla plans to produce its own batteries which could deliver a 55 percent jump in battery range for electric cars and a 56 percent drop in price per kilowatt hour Although Tesla CEO Elon Musk did not explicitly outline density in the main talk, he later suggested that Tesla could reach that figure at a later date. Here's what he said. He said, there are batteries in limited production right now that do exceed 400 watt hours per kilogram. So it already exists, huh? And he also said, which I think is about the number you need for decent range medium range aircraft 
and I think our batteries will over time start to approach the 400 watt hours per kilogram range as well. This is what he said during the battery day regarding the planes, electric planes and their takeoff. Now, a month prior, a month prior, one month before that event, Elon Musk had posted that such a battery could enter volume production in probably three to four years. So that's what I said, three to four years, and we may have uh, enough to start building electric planes. Let's see what happens in 2024. By 2025, I think we will have an electric plane because that's how fast uh, electric uh, car batteries and battery production is going forward right now. Elon Musk said as far back as 2015 that he... Um, a design in mind that he had design in mind he had a design in mind but it's unclear what the tesla plane could look like will it look like a normal electric planes or normal plane or will it look like as radically different as uh, tesla cybertruck is from other conventional trucks in 2018 he said the existing thing to do would be a vertical takeoff and landing supersonic jet of some kind, suggesting he is focused on a high-speed design that wouldn't need the long runway of current jets. Musk also responded to concept art in June 2020 of a possible Tesla electric plane, which looks something like a mantra ray, writing that it looks pretty good. Now, Inverse has a very good analysis on this uh, Elon Musk's idea of electric uh, Tesla jet, saying um, Musk's latest comments suggests he still is interested in an electric jet. It real, in reality, it's probably not going to arrive for a very long time, and it's unclear whether the electric car company Tesla would go as far as to enter the aviation business itself. Although I personally think Tesla, once it has the battery, it will include, in, invade, uh, it will uh, in, enter the aviation business itself because we have seen Tesla going to energy business uh, and also some um, semi trucking business as well, as well as uh, flying to uh, space uh, with SpaceX and to tunneling in Las Vegas. Elon Musk noted in 2018 that cars and clean energy were both bigger priorities than aviation, and it's easy to see why. Uh, Inverse says aviation only accounted for around 2.4% of global carbon dioxide emissions in 2018, according to the Environmental and Energy Study Institute. But the World Resources Institute found that transport accounted for around 24% of carbon dioxide emissions in 2016 and around 72% of transport emissions come from roads. Getting fossil fuel cars off the roads makes sense as Tesla's current focus, but with Musk displaying a slide at Tesla's recent battery day encompassing all forms of global energy use, the firm seems to have much grander goals in mind. So please let me know, friends, do you think Tesla will enter the aviation business and build electric supersonic jets or electric planes? Um, in the meantime, this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. I'll see you soon in our next report. God bless you and take good care of each other.